So 06, Behind Enemy Lines, we finally got our first dev blog from the developers, where they share various information about the progress of the title and what they're doing during development. I really appreciate this type of outreach by developers, allowing gamers to get a closer look at what it takes and the steps necessary to complete a project in game development. First up is environmental design. We're showcased here with a small scale scene to get a sense of what a finished level would look like within the game. These jungle scenes are based on two concept images from the artist Florent, who then hands over the concept art to Eason to then create the assets and textures so they can put the scene together in a small diorama based on the concept images. Eason said that he always researches the concept that he's working on. For these scenes, they wanted a lush tropical rainforest, so it was important for them to know the biome and find the species that would live in this type of landscape that they were creating. He uses Megascans and Speedtree software for those who are curious. Megascan is an online library which holds high-resolution scans of real-world things. Speedtree is a group of vegetation programming and modeling software products developed and sold by interactive data visualization that generates virtual foliage for animation, architecture, and in real time for video games and demanding real-time simulations. For textures and materials, the native Unreal Engine 4 shader is used for two-sided foliage. You can see here the main shader part. The moss shader uses fizziness and is based on the z-axis of the object. So the textures are made using Megascans and they are combined and edited using different textures. Playing with colors, combining textures, foliage and editing via the alpha channels to make them more readable. Utilizing real-time lighting, an entire scene can be created using directional and skylight lighting. Point lights are used to fake some details. Then, using an exponential height fog with volumetric fog on, it gives the scene a milky and unclear look to sell the mood of the scene in this dense jungle environment. At this point, many fans in the tactical shooter market are wondering, what's next? Well, as of now, the assets are being implemented into an actual game level for both single and multiplayer use. So yes, as of now, 06 Behind Enemy Lines is looking to include multiplayer alongside its single player campaign. The levels are produced as gray box levels first. As we can see here, this is an early stage of one of the first jungle themed levels. Levels are play tested heavily at this stage. Only after does the environmental artist go in and start working on the stage, turning it into a complete level. How this process is being done will apparently be featured in the upcoming dev blog, which will be one of many as the team continues its focus on creating 06 behind enemy lines. So, what are your thoughts so far? Are you excited for the possibility of a new, amazing third person tactical shooter to come to the market? Are you excited to see how 06 Behind Enemy Lines turns out? For me, at this point, I can see that the game is in such an early stage that I'm reserving my excitement to see what the future holds for the game and the team creating this new third person shooter. But I'm optimistic and I hope they can deliver a spectacular game for us third person tactical shooter fans. But what about you? Let me know in the comments below what you think. That's all for now, everyone. Have a fabulous day, and I will see you all in the next video. All right, guys. Peace.